Uh, November 18th, uh, 2023, at 4.10 a.m., the Pasadena Police Department responded to Washington Park. It was located at 700 East Washington Boulevard in response to a shot spotter gunshot detection alert. Upon arrival, officers, patrol officers located a victim down in the park suffering from gunshot wounds. The male, identified as Mickey Cooper, uh, was unresponsive and sadly pronounced deceased at the scene. Pasadena PD robbery homicide detectives were contacted. They responded into work to commence immediate follow-up investigation. Only a few hours after the homicide, these detectives standing behind me um, identified a person of interest. Based on the totality of the circumstances, uh, the homicide detectives believed that the suspect or this person of interest was an immediate threat to the community and organized an arrest operation utilizing the U.S. Marshals, Pacific Southwest Fugitive Task Force, members of the PPD SWAT team, and members of the PPD K-9 team. The arrest operation was successful and Aaron Miguel Connell was taken into custody without incident. Mr. Connell was booked for an assault with a deadly weapon involving a firearm. It was an unrelated um, and different crime than the murder of Mickey Cooper. Detectives executed multiple search warrants at uh, a couple residences and we recovered a firearm, a nine millimeter semi-automatic firearm that we believe was used in not only the murder of Mickey Cooper, but other violent crimes that occurred in Pasadena over the last several weeks. Detectives continued, uh, following the booking of Mr. Connell, continued their methodical follow-up investigation and spent the entire weekend following investigative leads and ultimately obtained enough information and enough evidence to amend the booking to Penal Code Section 187, murder. And uh, Mr. Connell was charged with the murder of Mickey Cooper. On November 21st, 2023, the case was presented to the LA County District Attorney's Office. The District Attorney's Office filed murder charges, Penal Code Section 187, for the murder of Mickey Cooper. Penal Code Section 664187, attempted murder for a shooting that occurred at Washington Park on October 29th and Penal Code Section 245, subsection B, assault with a semi-automatic firearm that occurred on November 5th at a gas station near Washington and Catalina. Bail is currently set at $4,025,000, and um, that's what I have so far. There are other crimes, I will say that there are some, there are other crimes that we are currently investigating, two to be specific, that we believe Aaron Connell is also responsible for, as soon as we uh, verify some information and get some information back from uh, our, our criminal lab, uh, we uh, hopefully will be pursuing additional charges. Any questions? Does the victim know the suspect? <clears throat> no, sir. Do you guys have any details at this point of what actually led up to the shooting? Was there some sort of dispute or, or what happened? So, so what we know is there's no definitive motive for the murder of Mickey Cooper or the shooting that occurred a couple of weeks prior. Um, all we can tell is that uh, Aaron Connell is uh, diabolic diabolically evil, and that seems to be the only motive that we've come up with so far. There are no connection between the victims, and there's no connection between the victim and Aaron Connell. Is the suspect arrested in the Pasadena? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you actually talk a little bit more about that other incident that he was initially arrested on and, and the timeline of that as it pertains to the shooting? Sure. So on November 5th, 2023, uh, in the evening hours, there was an incident at a gas station up in the area of Washington and Catalina. During that incident, uh, Aaron Connell exited a vehicle, approached the driver of another vehicle, and put a firearm to his head. Um, there were no shots exchanged or no shots fired during that incident, but that incident was documented as an assault with a deadly weapon involving a firearm. October 29th, 2023, shortly after 2 a.m., officers from the Pasadena Police Department responded to Washington Park regarding a shot spotter gunshot detection alert. Upon arrival, they located a victim down with a life-threatening gunshot wound. And so those crimes are for sure connected to Aaron Connell. The crimes are not connected to each other in the sense that there is no definitive motive um, as to why he
he was selecting these victims. All the victims in these cases, the ones that were filed and the ones that we plan on filing, um, there is no connection whatsoever. They seem to be uh, random, wrong place at the wrong time. And how was he ultimately found? And is, the, is that partially why the U.S. Marshals were brought in to expedite finding him? I don't want to get into trade secrets, but I, I will tell you that uh, the robbery homicide unit and these detectives behind me are, are incredibly skilled at some of the cutting edge technology and we use technology to locate uh, Aaron Connell and because of his violence, I mean clearly he is a serial shooter and a threat not only to the community but to officers, we contacted our partners at the U.S. Marshals uh, to help with the arrest. Does he have an arrest uh, record that he served time before? He only has a misdemeanor conviction. There's nothing in his criminal history that would indicate that he's prone to violence or has violent tendencies. So far, three three cases have been filed, sir, or three charges related to three separate cases. Yes, and we are pursuing or looking into into two additional cases that occurred here in Pasadena, both of which involve shootings. Is he a gang member? Am I, am I understanding that he was already arrested on some of those charges, those gun charges, uh, the, uh, the gas station, gun, is in situation, So we identified him as a person of interest in the homicide of Mickey Cooper. At the time, the arrest was strategic. We had enough to arrest him for the assault with a deadly weapon involving the firearm that occurred at the uh, gas station on November 5th. That was the uh, probable cause that we used to make the arrest and get him off the street to protect the community before he randomly selected someone else to shoot. Um, however, he was quickly identified by the, by the men behind me as the suspect in Mickey's death. That is correct. Can you describe the arrest? Uh, he was uh, walking uh, back to his vehicle, a vehicle that was involved in not only the homicide of Mickey Cooper, but other shootings that occurred in Pasadena. And uh, as he uh, made his way back to the car, the U.S. Marshals uh, used a, an arrest uh, tactic that they uh, like to use, and uh, they took him into custody. He, uh, he was compliant. Uh, did not resist, and the arrest uh, occurred without incident. But I will say that the, the firearm that we, that we recovered was a loaded semi-automatic firearm, and it was in the vehicle at the time of his arrest. Where is he being held? Excuse me? Where is he being held? The uh, L.A. County Jail, sir. I don't know which exact facility, but he's, he's with the uh, Sheriff's Department at this point. Do you find more firearms? No, sir. Has he gone to court yet? His arraignment was uh, scheduled for yesterday. I don't have updated information if you made the arraignment. I don't have that with me. But I, could, I can find that out if that's something you're interested in. Is he, not being a gang member? he is not affiliated uh, or a member of any criminal street gang. Is he mentally ill? I don't know, sir. I'm not a doctor. You say that his motive is purely evil as to what your findings are. How do you hope the DA handles this case? I hope they punish him to the fullest extent of the law. Um, We've, I've been doing homicide a long time, almost 17 years, and usually, um, not in all cases, but usually there's a motive, whether it's gang-related, whether robbery is the motive, or some type of theft, um, emotions if it's a family disturbance. But in this case, we found none of those. And so one can simply deduce that if there's no other motive explaining why you're, why you're driving around this city shooting people and killing people, the only thing that I can deduce is that you're just diabolic, diabolically evil. There's, there's nothing else to explain that. And so that's the conclusion that we've come up with so far. Does he have a partner? Does he do this crime by himself? Somebody drives him? No, sir. He's, he acted alone in all the shootings. I do want to add, because I, I forgot to mention them, but I do want to thank... Uh, once again, uh, Frank Carrillo and the LAPD Robbery Homicide Division for their assistance in this case. Uh, they're truly partners, uh, and we consider them family, and so we do appreciate LAPD Robbery Homicide for, again, helping us out. It's uh, much appreciated. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, I'll have an updated press release to email to you with a photo. Once again, our condolences to Michael Cooper and his family. Um, but, but again, let's 
uh, take a moment to reflect uh, the Pasadena Police Department, the Pasadena Police officers. You know, hopefully no one is thinking of committing a similar crime or any other crime here in the city of Pasadena, because if they do, you can see that the Pasadena Police Department will employ partnerships with regional agencies such as the LAPD, the LA County Sheriffs, the Marshals, and importantly, we will employ all needed technology to ensure that any perpetrator of a crime is brought to justice. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, uh, or maybe one of the council people can answer this. Someone spoke up earlier about a council meeting or some kind of town hall meeting with the, with the residents to discuss how to prevent these kinds of crimes. But you speak of technology. Obviously, you have a very competent police force, and yet um, the state of California, per square mile, is 183 crimes per square mile, where the national median is at 26. How, what are you going to tell the residents? Uh, those, uh, so, so the town hall meeting will be Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., um, this coming Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Uh, and what we intend to communicate to residents is that we have a top-notch police department um, and that that police department will employ uh, and is employing the, the best technology and the latest technology uh, and to ensure that any perpetrator of a crime and all perpetrators of crimes are brought to justice. You know, the, the men and women of the Pasadena Police Department, as you can see, are dedicated. Uh, they're a formative group, um, but uh, it also takes uh, technology to be able to bring these uh, perpetrators to justice. Sure. In, in particular, as the council member for District 5 and where Washington Park is located, we want to focus on the park itself and things we can do to make it safer at night. During the day, it's a very safe park. Families are there. Lots of folks are there. Um, on the day of the um, October 29th shooting, earlier that day, I was holding an office hours in the park. There were kids playing, people barbecuing, playing music. It's a safe place to be. But in the evening, it turns into something else. And, you know, frankly, the, the neighbors have been terrorized by what's been going on at night. So we're going to focus on what we can do to make the park safer at all hours of the day. Thank you. Sure. I mean, kind of the things that you can look at, improving lighting. It's a very dark park. If you know where it is, it's set sunken down from the street level. Um, we can look at improving um, security cameras. Right now, there a new community house is being constructed. It's almost uh, ready to open. It has cameras on it. Um, we can look at expanding that potentially, um, improving uh, or increasing the number of patrols or security. There's a whole host of things we can look at, Incre improving, pro increasing the number of programming that we have going on at the park, um, which we're excited to do. Again, that once the community house is open, that's going to be more possible or we'll have a lot of more things going on in the park during the day. What kind of a pro approach are you talking about happening at night? What's the problem there? Well, all these incidents over the past several weeks have happened at night. So during the day, things have been fine, but there's been these shootings and unfortunately two folks were, were hit, one killed in the evening. Um, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not familiar with those stats. I know historically things have been getting better over time. Um, but no, I, th I feel like if, as a council member of this district, it is a constant, it is a specific issue that we want to address, the nighttime issues, um, things that the, during the daytime have improved significantly over the past several years and beyond. Yeah, yeah. I think Thank we you. can answer those uh, stat questions at oh, the meeting for sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's have Chief yeah. Harris address those. <clears throat> Appreciate the questions. Uh, again, we're, we're here to look at the results uh, of this particular investigation, and some of the questions uh, can be answered at a later time. Um, as far as the statistics are concerned, I'm not sure where those numbers are coming from, um, but uh, violent crime is down in the city of Pasadena. 
Um, we'll validate that uh, to the folks of the media and the members of the public uh, at a later date. But uh, are there any additional questions about this particular case?